Hey everybody, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly and what I'd like to do today is use a standard benchmark test to compare the internal speeds of these two phones. These are two of Samsung's Galaxy S2 phones. On the left is the Samsung Epic 4G Touch for Sprint. This is Sprint's version of the Galaxy S2 phone. And on the right is T-Mobile's Samsung Galaxy S2. Now, okay, you're going to say, well, why bother comparing these two phones? I'd like to compare them because although they are both part of Samsung's Galaxy S2 series, they both are internally actually quite different. And the benchmark test that I'm going to use to compare the two is called N22. Let's go ahead and take a look at N22. What I'd like to do is look at the information on both of these phones. Now, looking at this, you can see, and let me adjust my camera a little bit so maybe you can see a little better. Okay, that's a little better. So, looking at the two of these, you can see that they have different model numbers. They have different CPU hardware. Now, this indicates they both have the same CPU model, but in fact, the Galaxy S2 here for Sprint, the Epic 4G Touch, has got a Samsung Exynos dual-core processor, and it runs at 1.2 gigahertz as its, frequent, as its uh, operating frequency. Over here, the uh, Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile has got a different dual-core processor off the top of my head. I don't remember which it is, and it runs at 1.5 gigahertz. So you might think that the, the uh, T-Mobile version of the Galaxy S2 will run faster. We'll find that out in just a moment. They both have the same screen resolution. They have different GPUs. Now, the GPU, that stands for Graphics Processing Unit, and that's an, always been an important part of these Samsung Galaxy S series of phones. The uh, Galaxy S2 here has an Adreno GPU, and on the right it says it's a Mali 400 GPU. So we're going to go ahead. Otherwise, the, um, the two of these are more or less equivalent. You can see that the uh, T-Mobile version uses Android 2.3.5, while the Sprint version uses Android 2.3.6. Okay, let's go to the test and actually conduct the, te the test. Here we go, I'm going to start the test. Now, while the test is running, I'm going to turn the camera off, and then we'll come back at the end and pick up the results at the end. Okay, the Epic 4G Touch has wrapped up the test and came up with a final score of 6,021, 6,021. And the uh, Galaxy S2 here for T-Mobile is still working on the test, but I have the feeling it's going to come up to the end very soon. There you go. It has a score of 5,802, 5,802. And so, therefore, in the, these two tests, it looks like the Epic 4G Touch, which has a uh, dual-core processor operating at a little slower speed than the Galaxy S2, but it looks like the Epic 4G Touch came up with a higher score. Now, that's not a big difference. That's only a few percent, uh, perhaps less than a few percent. Still, that's what we got. So, uh, by the way, if you're interested in either of these two phones, why not consider Wirefly as your phone source? Wirefly is the largest online phone retailer in the U.S., and we got there for a reason. We have great prices and we offer good service. So, why not check with Wirefly next time it comes time for you to buy a new cell phone? And hey, everybody, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly. Thanks for watching.